That local breaking news alert is in northwest Jacksonville where a school bus has crashed. We just learned the students are from Dinsmore Elementary. Now, thankfully, there are no serious injuries, but two people have been taken to the hospital. Yeah, some of that information just coming in, but we know the crash happened just after 3 o'clock on Jones Road. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller just arrived at the scene. Sky 4 is there, too. And Brittany, uh, you just spoke with someone who was involved in that crash. They're telling me that they were hit by the bus after it blew a tire. Nine children were on the bus, including one driver. Take a look at the damage out here. You can see that bus crashed right into the fence of a farm. You can see the hood is open, the engine, a tire blew out. It's no longer on the school bus. And a man who was driving an SUV with a trailer behind it says the school bus hit him. Sean Holton is joining us live. Tell us what happened. I was traveling west, east, heading toward my house on Jones Road, and uh, the school bus come into my lane. I didn't realize what happened. It come into my lane, and I thought it only caught my trailer, but it caught the whole side of my truck and knocked my trailer loose. And I was, I was in so much shock that the window busted on my, my SUV that I saw turn behind me and seen it was a school bus because my truck's down there uh, completely totaled. And, uh, I was more concerned with the children on the bus, so me, there was a neighbor that was putting his trash out, and my passenger, we run, immediately ran to the school bus, and we evacuated all the children off of the school bus and put them all on the fence, made sure all the children were okay. There were maybe 16, 20 kids. After the children were to the school spot, my passenger dialed 911. My, the neighbor that was putting debris out that saw it dialed 911. We got them up. The school bus driver was still strapped in his and you were Street helping. Belt. Thank and, you for and, your heroic actions. And we that... helped him get off because he went through the windshield. His head's busted open. Oh, and my goodness. Sure he was okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your heroic actions and telling us what exactly happened. So you and the passenger in your vehicle are doing okay. Yeah, I'm and fine. So now you were only in two minutes away from your home. And right. what else did you notice? Did you see kids being transported to the hospital? Um, yes, I did. There was... Uh, maybe 15, 20 different rescue units came and we had the kids lined up along the fence and a couple of them were crying. They were all upset, but a couple of them were crying and at this point I was still in shock and, yes. and I noticed that there were a couple of the kids that were loaded up on the Thank rescue. Thank you so much for your help. Now we do know that this is a farm, so there are farm animals just like the emu here and there's also a deer sanctuary, so the farm owners are concerned about the animals getting out and uh, because... There is a fence issue here, so the school bus is about to be towed away. We do know that there are nine kids that were on this bus, including one driver from Dinsmore Elementary School. Two people were taken to the hospital at this time. It is unsure if they were children. Of course, we are on the scene. We'll bring you the latest as we learn more. Reporting live this afternoon from Northwest Jacksonville, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.